Hey lovely people, welcome back to our channel and in this video I will be talking to the ladies, okay? We are going to talk about our yoni today and the yoni is our spiritual essence, okay? It, oh my god, and our yoni is our divine source of creation, okay? So the yoni is a Hindu or Sanskrit word to mean womb source or vagina and the yoni in Hinduism is associated with the goddess Shakti and she is the goddess dealing with internal the eternal processes creativity sensuality regeneration the totality of existence and the union of male and female everything that our yoni represents the yoni meaning your vagina the yoni your source of divine creation okay ladies like you have to believe in your source of divine creation women we are the creators of this planet i don't know when the roles changed and men became the top dog but women men can't go forward without us imagine imagine a world with only male plants male animals yeah male plants and animals there will be no life life will not continue but imagine a world of just females there are female plants that are asexual that can reproduce without a man there are female animals that turn into men yes there's a fish that turn into a there's a female fish that can turn into a male fish okay you gotta watch blue planet part two on netflix okay see that shit yeah so women we are the source of creation we are beautiful and bountiful, okay? So this is what this video is going to talk to you guys about. It's about our spiritual power. Okay. Okay. And the yoni has been venerated by many different cultures, okay? Often you may see me look down. Anytime I look away, it's just my notes, guys, okay? No biggie. <laughs> I, um, I want to always bring you guys great information and I also like do my notes so that I could follow a certain script okay but anyway that's besides the point um, yeah so the yoni has been venerated by many different cultures okay and like the ancient Egyptian culture the ankh is actually the ankh is actually shaped like the womb of the lady the vaginal canal of the lady and other cultures like in ancient Japan or just on ancient rock art, like rock traditions, like when they used to draw on the rocks and stuff in caves, like the women has always been venerated, okay? You guys could Google that and do your own research on that. Or I could make a whole other video on ancient cultures and the veneration of the yoni so that you guys could see that the yoni has been the essence of power since before time okay ladies we need to claim back that power let's get on that horse and get that power back <laughs> so what are ways that women often disassociate themselves with their uni well first of all they have a very low self-esteem towards their body or having a low self-esteem towards their vagina a lot of women don't love their vagina and then they get with men who just want to have sex with their vagina or they don't want to have make love to their vagina they just want to use it okay and that is where the disassociation begins when you the disassociation from the spiritual aspects of your uni when you begin to just associate your vagina with sex then you lose the creative source and the divine source okay also it depends on your lifestyle too certain things you eat um certain things that you eat uh, allow you to be disassociated from your yoni like meats some meats they bring certain flavors to your yoni you understand because what you what you are is what you eat so let's say you eat a lot of grapes then you get like some juicy you know you have a juicy yoni if you eat a lot of juicy fruits basically so uh, I also made a video on how to tap into the feminine energy and I kind of broke that down um, Things that you could eat that allows allow you to tap into that feminine source okay so yeah you have to be mindful of what you eat and then you also have to be mindful of your sex life are you getting too much sex if you're getting too much sex the yoni is over physical you need to let her rest if you're getting too little sex then she mm, that's okay celibacy is a, is a good thing okay i've been celibate for 
I almost say you <laughs> because I'm in a long distance relationship, but it's, that's besides the point. But celibacy is a good way to uh, just disassociate yourself from the physical aspects of your uni, okay? So yeah, disassociate yourself. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> and when women are connected to their uni, they feel empowered, they are grounded, they are sensual. And they are confident in themselves and in their femini femininity. I can never say that word right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go into tips that will allow you to tap in to your divine feminine source, okay? So the first tip is educate yourself. Educate yourself about your yoni. How does your yoni look? Are your lips fat? Are, is your clit fat? You know, just different things. What makes up the well? That's just the physical look of your uni, right? What makes up the look of your uni? And you want to know your uni because it's like if you don't know your uni, it's like you don't know yourself. You only you only know like the surface of it. But what does it look like? Do a pap smear. You understand me? Go do go to the guy in the colleges or something. Just learn some more about your uni, and by doing that, will allow you to say, oh, there's a bump there. That's a beautiful bump. I love that bump. You know, it will make you be aware of changes in your uni. Just you, you always have to just be aware of your uni because because it is our creative source. Anything that goes wrong with it, then we could say, oh my gosh, our creative source may be blocked in a way. You understand? So it's very good that you take notes of your uni or take notes of the changes in your uni changes in your uh, bodily fluids coming from your uni so those type of things another thing you could do is read a lot of books about divine feminine or tapping in to your feminine power i'm currently reading this book the wild feminine and it is such a beautiful book guys um i'm not quite done it's a hefty book as well and it has a lot of exercises that could allow you to tap into that inner source. And I'm also going to share, when I'm done with this book though, I'm going to share the exercises that I learned. Because I don't like to tell people things that I haven't done, okay? So, yeah. Oh, after I get through this book, or get through a couple exercises, I've got through mapping my pelvic floor so this is that is one thing that i could make a video for you guys on sometime soon how to map your pelvic floor so you could know different points um energy points in your yoni area your pelvic area so that you could know where energy is blocked um it's, it basically just entails you uh, i wonder if i should stand up okay anyway i'll do a whole other video on that but it basically just entails you to um touch around your pelvic area and your yoni and then touch like very deeply so that you could feel places that's numb or places that are a bit sore and those are the places where your energy may be blocked okay and that's what i learned from this book so far so yeah educate read different books to educate yourself so number two Take care physically, mentally, and emotionally of your uni. Physically, I mean, perhaps you shouldn't shave a lot. If you shave every week, don't shave every week. Try shaving every month. Men, honestly, if you're with a real man, he doesn't care about how your uni looks, okay? If you're with a real man, he's like, oh, she's hairy, I'ma still eat it. Oh, she's shaved, I'ma still eat it. You understand me? <laughs> Men don't care. <laughs> If you're with a real man, but if you're with a, <clears throat> I don't want to say the word, type of man, <laughs> well, a no good type of man, then he will make you feel some type of way about your yoni, unless you have that security within yourself. So how you get that security within yourself for your yoni? Simply, uh, as I said, don't try not to shave as often. When you shave too much, your yoni gets a lot of razor bumps and scratches and all of that. When you shave, try shaving with coconut oil. It's very, very good to shave with. You don't need to do soap. It makes you feel very smooth and nice after you 
um, shave with the coconut oil. Another thing, take care of it um, emotionally. You have to understand that women are very emotional beings. And one way that we trip is we get too caught up on sad or negative emotions. Now, when we do that, that blocks the energy coming from our source of creation, our yoni. So what do you do? You try to have more positive um Emotions you try to have more positive thinking towards your yoni if you're somebody that is disassociated with your yoni And you don't really love your yoni. You could always just say a couple affirmations like I am grounded within myself I love my yoni this and you know those type of things next uh, Taking care of it um, Next taking care of it mentally that's basically just fixing your thoughts towards your uni. Try to no longer think of it as just something that's physical or just something that you know it, you just have to have sex and it's the way that you're gonna give birth. Giving birth is a, is just, you know, the most spiritual thing that your uni does. Like, it connects the physical and the spiritual realm. Your, you, your womb does that. It's crazy, right? Oh gosh, it's so crazy how the woman body is so amazing right so when you think of those things mentally you're like whoa how can i hit that how can i not have confidence in that you understand me oh yeah so <clears throat> number three know your menstrual cycle the menstrual cycle is related to our sources of creativity okay before we menstruate we are awfully hormonally imbalanced there's emotions all over the place but also that is when we get tapped into our spiritual self more because we know our body is preparing to you know either get impregnated or release okay and when the body is preparing to get impregnated the body has the mindset that we are going to connect the spiritual and physical realm okay so it's very important that you pay attention to your menstrual cycle if your menstrual cycle some ladies I know our menstrual cycle is all over the place I am guilty of that for sure and um, that usually deals with when you are stressed or you're just not balanced physically okay so yeah, know your menstrual cycle. Also, our menstrual cycle, there are two things that it relates to. The first thing is before our menstrual cycle, when our body our body is building up, um, the, the uterus lining is building up, then it provides us with energy to towards our creations, ladies. And then when your uterus lining is shedding, it releases that energy and it calls you to refocus and take some rest okay so that is another reason why you should know your menstrual cycle number five number f okay so number five now we're getting into the more spiritual aspects number five deals with doing meditation that could allow you to heal your yoni so one thing i do did and I'm gonna show you show this to you guys. This, this is kind of intimate, but I'm gonna show it to you guys. I drew my yoni. Okay, I drew my yoni, and as you can see, this says yoni love, and I meditated on it for a week to provide my yoni with more love and care. So I did a whole ritual, and I could um I will upload a yoni love ritual for you guys, and it brought a lot of healing. To my inner self okay and i did this at the beginning of the year and since then I, I have been tapped into my creative source okay and yeah like this is it like you take a mirror you look at your yoni and you just draw it on whatever paper you want you design it how you want and then you want to have um instruments that will allow you to tap into that energy like rose quartz see this beautiful rose quartz wand i have here i love it so much i love rose quartz it's my favorite crystal <laughs> i don't really like to pick favorites because they're all so nice but i really love rose quartz and you want to put your rose quartz crystal on that picture to let your picture charge let your picture get some energy and then you want to do your healing rituals okay yeah Um, another thing you want to include in your rituals is probably some quarry shells and I had one around here. Oh. No, okay, 
I don't have it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but a quarry shell looks exactly like your yoni. So you may want to have some quarry shells around while you, while you do this meditation practice. Another thing you could do is allow your man to give you a yoni massage. And it's just a very intimate way to allow your, your other sex to tap into the spiritual aspects of your uni as well by giving you by giving you a massage that is very um well thought of because when he massages you he has to ensure that his intentions in his mind is to bring healing to your yoni and what he would do is just place his hand over certain pressure points of your vagina and give it like a nice little massage and there there is um videos on how to do a yoni massage if you want to look at that um, or I could make a video for you guys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's number five. Number six also deals with doing meditation, okay? It deals with healing your lower, your most, your two lower chakras, which are your sacral chakra and your root chakra. Your sacral chakra is directly associated with your reproductive organ. So it's directly associated with your yoni. And your sacral chakra is your is also your sacred sacred chakra deals with your emotions and your sensuality its element is water so to heal your sacred chakra you might want to drink a lot of water or fluids and you might want to go out and dance do something that um allows you to tap into that sensual side of you wear sexy clothes wear some lingerie under your clothes you know do something sexy get freaky with bae <laughs> just do anything that makes you balance your sensuality and your emotions okay um the color for the sacral chakra is yellow i believe or orange i sometimes mix it up but uh, i'm sorry <laughs> but you may also want to wear whatever the color of the sacral chakra is you also want to wear that color okay next you also want to heal your root chakra and your root chakra is connected to your spine and it's your grounded your source that grounds you to the earth okay so because our yoni is like also close to our spine we need to ground our root chakra we need to heal our root chakra and to do so you may want to wear a lot of red because the color for your root chakra is red or you may want to You may want to do a root chakra healing ritual. You know, you get some crystals that are associated with the root chakra, like red jasmine or not red jasmine, sorry, red jasper or um, the tiger's eye, red tiger's eye, any red, any red stone crystal. Yeah. Any red crystal. And then... Yeah, you just want to focus on healing that area of yourself. So when you heal your lower two chakras, it releases the energy that is stored up in there and it allows it to flow into your yoni and just make your yoni just shine, okay? And number seven kind of relates to that as well. Number seven is doing yoga poses that allow your yoni to open up. So one of the yoga poses you could do is the um, happy child pose. That's when you're on your back, you're up and your two legs are up in the air and you're hand is open holding them open okay and you want to stay and rock in that position for a couple five minutes if you want to but just do different positions that allow you to just open up yourself and open up your uni and when you do this you want to do you want to do it with intention you want to breathe and you want to take your time and you want to give yourself some love okay so yeah And the final way to tap into your yoni is just be creative, okay? Do something that allows you to tap into your creative source. Do something that allows you to tap into your creativity. What makes you creative? Ask yourself that. What really brings you creation? I love doing these YouTube videos for you guys. That's one way I tap into my yoni source. When I do a YouTube video for you guys, I feel very um, good, okay? So what else allows you to tap into that creative source all right so ladies i hope this video was a good video for you guys and i hope that you guys got some information from this i will be uploading more videos about 
your yoni and tapping into your yoni because it's very important as ladies that we have balance within ourselves because we are the creators of this world okay ladies believe in that if you believe you are a creator of this world lady please <laughs> comment in the comment box below also you could check out my spiritual services you could subscribe to this channel and i hope that you guys have a lovely lovely time tapping into your spiritual power okay of your uni bye